Dude, it is snowing up over here. I got a feeling it's gonna be one of those uh, seasons where we get a lot of snow. It's gonna be uh, interesting to see how it plays out. But what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm just gonna do a general update on this episode, uh, SRT4. I'm getting uh, things in preparation in order to uh, tackle this thing once again uh, for a new episode. So if you're not caught up, caught up on this series, go ahead and check out the build series and you can get caught up on that. And this right here is about, it's waiting for its new place in the shop to uh, get some attention that's long overdue. RB25 swap is gonna be going into the Z32. If you're into this kind of content here for the first time, subscribe, thumbs up. I appreciate it, but we're gonna be talking this episode about the 240Z right here because it's about to leave. That's why I was saying that's about to find its new little home right here where we can start doing some work on that. But I got this thing all wiped down and cleaned up and uh, she's pretty and then it started, you know, giving us bad weather. So I'm not gonna drive it. I was wanting to drive it on this episode, but you know, it's cleaned up and it's waiting for him to come get it and I'm not gonna go ahead and do that it is it is going to come back after it comes back from the body shop and then we'll be able to do more tuning because that's what i wanted to talk to you guys about was i was messing with the car and i know you know how to mess with hondas and stuff uh, honda and all that so a lot of stuff is kind of familiar and everything i was researching youtube videos on tuner studios which controls the mega squirt and basically uh, familiarize myself with the software enough to, uh, I guess, be dangerous. So I just started, you know, driving it and where it was breaking up really bad, I started focusing in those uh, cell areas and then I'd pull up a 3D map and basically uh, try to uh, get the, the, the dips in the map to come up. And then I noticed that when I was doing that, I was increasing the fuel, obviously and uh, it started smoothing itself out now i got it to where i can drive it now first gear go through the rev range i can't give it you know a lot of a lot of quick throttle because it i haven't developed a map enough but uh basically i've learned how to play with it and mess with it and have results and uh that's pretty cool so uh when we get the the vehicle back it will uh we will play with it and i will take you guys along for the ride and I'll see how good I can tune it before I turn it over to Eric so he can finish off the tune. So uh, we'll do that little uh, episode in the future once we get it back. But got the interior and everything back together. Uh, still gotta finish off some things and he's okay with that because once it comes back and I start messing with it more, the seats and everything's all in and things are vacuumed up and cleaned up and uh, it's ready. It's, it's ready to go for the most part, but uh, basically uh, I'll turn on the tuner uh, studios real quick. I have it pulled up. Well, basically I could show you guys right here without turning it on, but this is the fuel map that uh, is saved currently in the ECU. And basically what I did was I was uh, looking at the tracker. You have a tracker that hovers once you turn it on. And I was looking at the cells in which it was hunting for. Uh, it, it'll jump around the tracker will jump around when it's hunting. And uh, I, I looked at those cells and then uh, basically I did like a batch where I highlight a bunch of cells where I saw it hunting in and then I basically increased the fuel load. A little icon up here and you can increase it in stages. And I, I started playing around with it like that. And if you click on a 3D map, it pulls up the 3D map. Now I developed a lot of this area here and basically uh it's still choppy in these areas right here so i developed this area here it's still choppy as you can tell how it dips but basically i was using visual representation and looking at the tracker in order to make my corrections and that simple method alone allowed me to make strides so i'm interested to do more research on this and uh you know test it out once we get the vehicle back so i can better understand these things and build myself as a builder so Pretty cool, man. Stoked on that. The stock uh, color for the gauges is a green. The green on the lights in the back of the uh, dash, it needs to be, uh, they need to be changed. They're very dim when you turn the lights on, but 
LED lighting definitely glows a lot more than old school bulbs. Bulbs, sorry. Uh, so we got it to where basically the O2 sensor's warmed up now. Uh, since I turned it on, it's automatically uh, connected to the ECU because it it was loaded. So now that it's communicating, I'm just letting things warm up a little bit. And basically, if you look up here in fuel settings, right there, fuel settings, I click on that, and then I can bring up my, my fuel table right there, fuel table. And then there it is. And there's a tracker I was speaking about. As you can see, that's where it's traveling all over the map right now. So I'm bringing idle down. And it's going to hang out in those two cells generally. And if you look at the O2 uh, sensor reading, it's really rich. But once it warms up, it'll, uh, it'll get leaner. Yeah, so this is just an update video. I wanted to fill you all in on the 240Z. And there's plenty of fun to be had with this thing once we get it back. And a lot of learning to learn. So a lot of learning to do. I don't know how to word it. Anyway, excited about this, excited about getting the room, excited about starting it again, excited about the whole process, but I'm not excited about finding all the parts and laying everything out because projects, when you put them aside, you tend to forget where stuff is at. And that's been the case with the SRT4. If you guys aren't caught up on this, please check out my build series. I have a whole build series on this car. Get caught up on this because it's, it's gonna be done sooner than later. And uh, it's a pretty cool build series. I'm actually pretty happy the way, you know, the car's turning out too as well. So I'm not gonna ramble on a whole lot, but you know what? I did clean up the front bumper cover. Let me push this back real quick. I'm gonna put that bumper cover on real quick and see how that looks. No, don't scratch the paint, dude. Man, it has been a minute since I've seen the front end on this vehicle. That's what I like about SRT4 is I always like the aggressiveness of the front end. They look really cool, you know. Now the wheels, I like the white wheels. I think that these wheels, they need to be bigger. I think they need to be 18 inch white wheels of some type. I actually found a set and I'm on the fence about getting them. I have to wait, wait it out and see, but these look cool, 16 inches look cool, but I don't know. I feel honestly it needs an 18 inch. guys this is just a little update that's all it is a little fun video if you guys stuck around for the whole thing appreciate it very much and i'll see y'all on the next one stay tuned for the srt for episode coming soon peace out